This test is gonna test the overall strength of your blade edge and construction of your knife. Matt, you're up first, you ready? Yeah, gotta be. It was a nice piece. Very comfortable handle. Started it out straight, still straight. There's no edge damage at all. Got one little cosmetic defect, but didn't affect the blade at all. Very nicely done. Thank you. Dave, how are you feeling? Ready? Yes. Good. So am I. Nice. Nicely done. Dave, it's a nice piece. Thank you. But the handle is very, very thin here, and it's very forward heavy as well. Those combined, you saw the blade was going round and round, but everything stayed together. Good job. Thank you. OK, Ray, you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ray, your blade survived, but you got a couple issues. First of all, your handle, biting the heck out of my fingers. You had a warp in your blade before, but now you've also got a twist towards the front end, and you've also lost the edge. So it survived, but definitely has issues. Ready, Chris? I am. Let's go. I'm nervous, I'm confident, I'm hopeful. But ice is a really hard target, and Jay swings a knife really hard. <laughs> Good job. Oh Whew, I got ice on my shirt. <laughs> Chris, nice job. Thank you. Couple issues, long handle. It's very, very thin here and a little too thick here. You did lose a little bit of edge here, but the biggest thing is your blade now goes this way. Did a nice job in the ice though, and he did survive. Good job. Thank you. How you feeling, Aaron? Nervous, but I feel okay. Good. I'm not nervous at all, so let's just do it. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm like, don't break, don't break. Don't chip, don't warp. I really need this thing to hold together. Everything's on the line right now. Here we go. Whew. Nice job, Aaron. Thanks. Handle short, not too short, but right on that border. Finger starts climbing up into this section here, and it's a little bit sharp. OK. Mm -hmm. But stay true. You still got an edge. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. The judges are huddled up together. They're doing evil whispers to each other and saying different people's names. I really hope they don't choose my blade for me to go home. This is the same problem I had last time I was on Forged in Fire. I did a lot of damage, and I took damage. I don't feel like I've learned my lesson. Blade Smiths, the judges have made a final decision about who's moving forward and who's leaving this competition. Now, these tests are designed to be intentionally brutal to set your blades apart from one another. I remind you, there is no walk of shame in this forge. Hold your head up high when you walk out of here. This is a brutal competition. Nobody comes in here, comes out unscathed. Matt, David, Aaron, Chris, you'll be moving on. You can go ahead and enter the forge. Ray, your blade didn't make the cut. It took the most damage during this test. And for that reason, we have to ask you to please leave the forge. I don't think the judges made the wrong decision. My blade didn't hold up, so my blade was the one to go. But I made it farther than I did last time, which in itself is its own form of redemption. Forged in Fire has been an amazing experience, and I'm just glad that I had the opportunity to be a part of it.